there's a new study out, Alzheimer's deaths, six times higher than previously thought. And that's in Reuters. It is exploding because all the heavy metals uh, and the toxins. You were starting to get there, Dr. Group. Um, we went to break talking about they're not discussing all the real chemical imbalance, Prozac-type drugs in the water, estrogen mimickers in the water, in the plastics, in the printer ink, uh, just in everything. And that's why every metric shows we are a diseased population. Um, please continue. Well, yeah, create the disease by poisoning the air, the food, and the water, you know, spraying pesticides, spraying heavy metals everywhere. You know, that's what causes the real chemical imbalance. If you get to the root cause of the things, which is what we should be looking at, it's not that you have chemical imbalances and you need antidepressants and you need antipsychotic drugs. It's clean your life up and avoid drinking the toxic water and the toxic com eating the toxic food and the preservatives and avoid putting all those toxins in your system and clean your brain and clean your bloodstream and then you won't have all these fits of you know rage or these depressive activities or anything else that they're claiming as mental disorders which they can which they cannot prove to begin and with. they're claiming normal human activity is mental illness now to expand their market and their social control just like the soviet union used psychiatry and psychology as a tyranny and i'm not saying everybody in it's bad there's a lot of good people in it it's just that the main driving force behind it is predatory I mean, uh, 50, 60 years ago, they still went around, and if your kid was depressed, they'd stick an ice pick into their eye, you know, behind their eye, and uh, give them a lobotomy. And sure, Junior never complained again. He never talked again. So it's just incredibly oppressive what's going on. And now, under the DSM, they've got all these new disorders where not liking authority, not trusting the system is mentally ill. 374 different mental disorders right now in the DSM and, and in the 1930s. When the DSM started, it was only 34 mental disorders. So it's become a huge problem. And what's even scarier is the fact that they just came out with a DSM 0 to 3, which means they're from age 0 to 3, they're diagnosing, and I think there's like 12 or 15 mental uh, illnesses between the age of zero to three. How and they're teaching moms on the, on, the, on the hospital shows and stuff that it's like getting your kid a new suit of clothes or new shoes. It's fun to get a designation. It's fun to say something's wrong with your kids. And then like Munchausen by proxy, the moms then take them into the system and get them on the drugs or get them in the counseling. And then they're now heroes because they've got a special needs child who wasn't special needs, but will be once the mental health system's done with them. Well, first of all, they vaccinate the kid, which is going to cause all kinds of problems in the system. And then they feed them soy formulas and everything else. And they put all these toxins and chemicals in the in the babies. And, the, and then the babies have excessive crying or... Um, you know, rashes or showing signs of excessive sleep or something like that that they can label as a mental illness and put children on antipsychotics. Yeah, they get stomach aches when you feed them formula that's 70% sugar. I mean, when you read a formula deal, the high fructose corn syrup, all of it, and, and it's like a conspiracy theory that women are supposed to nurse babies. Right, it is a conspiracy theory. I mean, the sad news is if you're labeled with a mental illness from the time you're two years old, and that stays with you forever in your entire life. And it's not like you can get off of these drugs. It takes a year to wean somebody off an antidepressant or even a stimulant. Like I know somebody that's been on Paxil for 15 years, and it's ruined their life, in, in their words, to many extent. It's given them a disease where their skin's totally white, the same disease Michael Jackson had. Uh, they've got an autoimmune issue now. And the doctors admit it's the Paxil. Didn't tell them when they went on it. Uh, you say it would take a year. How would you get them off? Well, first of all, it, you know, each individual person has to be evaluated, you know, separately. Sure, you can't you diagnose them, but what, what would you do on average? Well, you have to do what's called time contingent detoxification, which is slowly reduce their dose over a period of year. And at the same time, you want to give them natural substances like Tibetan rhodiola or lithium orotate or you know, something that's going to naturally work with their serotonin receptors in their head so they have an easy way of getting off. And at the same time, you're going to be educating that individual on what are the things they need to avoid. For example, fluoride. You know, fluoride is going to cause major problems in the, in the brain, in the thyroid gland. You know, putting them on iodine, you know, detoxifying their body because most people that are on psychotropic drugs are not just on one. They start with one and then they have problems sleeping or something and then they get put on sleep medications. Usually they're on six to nine different medications because one thing causes side effects, which leads to another thing, which leads to another. I saw that the average foster child is on seven drugs.
seven different right. psychological drugs. That's right. And, you know, su suicidal thoughts, aggressiveness, non-motivation. I mean, how looking at society and looking at uh, just trying to find somebody to work these days is so hard to get to get a good employee because everybody you interview, they did. They're really not motivated to work anymore. And so this is affecting society as a whole because we don't have intelligent people and we don't have people that are working and people are losing their jobs actually the auto accidents that are happening people driving into the water uh small children i mean there's a whole list of children now that you can pull up online that were that committed suicide these are healthy children supposedly they're seven years old they're getting these screens in schools they're being they're sent to their psychiatrist saying they're hyperactive or whatever they're put on you know, they ask them if they're if they're happy in school. They say no. They're put on antidepressants, and within seven days, the mom finds them hung and they're dead in their closet. I mean, and this is a serious. And the insert says it does it. And the insert actually says it's done it. Now, there's not one single case that's ever been documented of depression or ADD or ADHD or the, any of the 374 mental disorders in the DSM that's been cured. That's documented to be cured after all these years on antipsychotic drugs. Not one. Amazing. I want to pull up that Time Magazine article from two weeks ago. I think the headline was uh, toxins lowering IQ or brain damaging children in the U.S. And they admit fluoride's the main one in the water and admit the Harvard study. Now, that's a big deal. Why would Time Magazine say the biggest thing is fluoride, which we know acts as an adjuvant, according to brain surgeons and neurologists like Dr. Blaylock? so that it accelerates all the other drugs. There it is, children exposed to more brain army chemicals than ever before. And the first one they mention, and they say causing ADHD is fluoride. Well, you gotta remember all these diseases, these mental illnesses are created. And here's how they do it, uh, even from the beginning of time, and you can research this online. They got together a group of psychiatrists in a room, a small room, and they presented these symptoms and presented these disorders and they voted on them. No scientific evidence or anything. So if you create if you create chemical imbalances in the brain by what what do children eat high fructose corn syrup excitotoxins artificial dyes colors artificial sweeteners all of you can't MSG. find chips without MSG excitotoxin no. you can't find them without the uh, uh Aspartame, I mean, in the, in the gum. Right. I mean, look what Blaylock termed the, the, you know, came up with the term, excitotoxins, excitotoxins in the brain. Then add mercury. That's that. now medically accepted fact. Yes. Now add aluminum to that, add all the heavy metals to that, and you literally have a slew going on in your, in your brain, and all that's done by design, to, because here's the thing, the beauty that the medical profession sees in mental illness is... You, you know, it's not like cancer or any type of disease where you have to do all kinds of testing. They can prescribe you medications and keep you on medications from the time you're born pretty much all the way until you die just by you coming in and saying, I don't feel good, doctor, with no scientific evidence or anything, and they can put you on these medications. So it's a $330 billion uh, a year industry. And just like all drug dealers throughout history, they target the school ground, but now they're in the school running the counselors, running the nurses, getting the 10 and 11 year olds that are anxious. You're supposed to be anxious when you're 10 or 11 on drugs. It's a total criminal takeover. 3,000 deaths a month uh, attributed to psychiatric drugs. 17 million children worldwide have been prescribed psychiatric drugs so dangerous that medicine regulates uh, regulate, regulates it in Europe and Australia and have issued warnings that antidepressants can cause suicide and hostility in children and adolescents. Now, by the way, I don't sell it, but people can get it without a prescription, but it, but it's hard to do because it's, it's somewhat doctor controlled. Uh, but people that do have anxiety and things, I was looking up the studies when you told me about this two months ago, they're legion, not the type of uh, lithium that's like in El Paso. So they have the lowest level of suicide or whatever, but the type that's in a plant, you were telling me, and I went and looked it up, it was true, is a miracle drug for depression, anger problems explain this special type of lithium to people i don't sell it we probably should but j j just explain to people about that right i mean it is readily available it's a, and i've done a lot of work with the military you know i'm real close with the military and military dating back to, you know for the late 1800s has been a testing ground and an experiment military personnel for uh, uh psychotic or psychotropic drugs so the military is a perfect way for pharmaceutical companies to experiment. And one of the things that we- That's how you actually get stuff approved. My dad's been in drug right. approval. You can only fast track through the Pentagon.
Well, yeah, I mean, in the, in, the, in the studies, I mean, that's a whole nother thing. I mean, there really is no such thing as clinical trials because in order to do an accurate clinical trial, you would have to clone somebody, expose them to the same diet every day, expose them to the same exercise sure. program. I mean, it's impossible because all of our biochemistry is different. So that whole clinical trials in phase one, two, and three is nothing but fabricated uh, results. All the, the heads of the studies are paid by the pharmaceutical companies, and it's just a big scam anyway. But... Uh, lithium orotate is a natural form of lithium extracted from plants or, or erotic acid is actually added. It's not like the lithium carbonate that they give uh, schizophrenic patients or anything like that. It's a natural form of lithium to just kind of help balance out your brain waves. And it's a natural alternative for uh, instead of you having to take Zoloft or Paxil or any type of the antidepressants. A lot of the military and a lot of people that contact me that want to just get off all their medications... We switch them over to the natural substances, but lithium orotate is one of the most effective. And you were saying the effects have been very good. Yeah, exactly. I mean, again, you want to address the root cause of the problem, which is cleaning them out and, and reducing their exposure to the toxic chemicals. Well, and that's what I was reading. Yeah. These serotonin reuptake inhibitors and these meth drugs, uh, these uh, Adderall and stuff are so toxic to the body. It, well, exactly. And the liver takes a beating over a period of time. You know, the liver is the detoxification organ. I mean, if you're on stimulants, I mean, that's that's methamphetamine right there. I mean, it's going to cause major side effects, insomnia. You're not going to be able to sleep. You know, you're going to go through rages. You're going to, you know, you might be able to focus for a little while. But over the long haul, it's just going to tear the body down to pieces. And then you're going to be on multiple medications. Yeah, well. speed kills. Uh, absolutely. I want to talk a little bit about other solutions here because... You know, I worked for about 15 years so hard on air, and I didn't have a fatalistic attitude. I just started eating whatever I wanted, uh, was working 18 hours a day, not taking care of myself, and gained about 50 pounds more than I should. And it's been a long haul the last three, four years, getting on vitamins, minerals, drinking more water, exercising. But I have, over that time, lost a lot of weight. I've gotten a lot healthier. Everybody can see it now. And I did great with some of the longevity stuff at InfoWarsHealth.com, Beyond Tangy Tangerine, some of the other products that we sell. They're wonderful at InfoWarsHealth.com. That helps fund the operation. But when I got with you in the last eight, nine months, and you had Super Male Vitality about to come out, that you've been developing for years, and you agreed to let me put it out exclusively. When you uh, got me on your proprietary uh, nascent iodine, put it out as survival shield, it turns blue on paper, not black like the other stuff that's really bound that people call nascent iodine. When you got me uh, to develop the fluoride shield with these five compounds with the iodine, the, Shane Steiner is a huge power lifter naturally. He can, he can bench press like, uh, you know, uh, 400 pounds like eight times. He can squat 600 pounds naturally. And he said, okay, Alex, I'm sure you sell real stuff, but I'll, I'll, I'll go on the Super Mel Vitality. I'll see what happens. We were just talking about, hey, you ought to see if you like it and you'll be a, be a spokesman. He comes back and goes, I want a whole case of that. My friends want it three weeks later. He, he says it's mentally gets him ready to work out, and he says it's just incredible mentally. And then, of course, with his friends and people, it's the aphrodisiac effect, which you said we're not going to advertise it as that, but that's really what it does. And it turns women into crazed creatures. What is going on in the Super Mel Vitality? What's going on? You know, I try to address the main problems and the situations that... The government, the, the pharmaceutical companies are trying to destroy us. And one of the ones with the super male vitality, as you know, is to is to create a society of estrogen dominance, to take away the testosterone, to take away the, the true way a male is. I mean, uh, to take away the fertility of the males. You know, a male's hormone levels decrease uh, starting at age 28. And because of all the chemicals and the fluoride and all the endocrine disrupting uh, compounds out there, We've we're not becoming males. I mean, you know, it's 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 feminizing America, and so what I wanted to do was counteract that. I mean, there's always solutions to every situation. Well, why does it affect women even more? Well, it affects women because women produce testosterone too, and right now women have estrogen levels through the roof. Their progesterone levels are down to practically nothing, and their testosterone levels are practically nothing too. So it's not. It doesn't. Add, what it does is it, it's a it's a balanced hormone product that you can take that will naturally uh, pro tell your body to produce the hormones that it needs. So it'll. So that way, it doesn't do like synthetic stuff. It that lower your hormones and just replace them. This makes your body release it. No, there is actually no 
testosterone or growth hormone or progesterone or anything in the formula. The formula is designed to naturally tell your body to produce what it needs. And that's why it's so successful because you might need, you know. Why does it have the aphrodisiac effect? Let's just be honest. Well, because when your hormones are in balance, it's the natural order for you to procreate or for you to want to have sex or for you to want to, you know, seek, you know, the, a woman or for a woman to seek a man. So, when your hormones are balanced, that's just the natural, you, you secrete natural pheromones that come out in, in attractive substances from your body. And your blood flow starts to work again, you know, your testosterone, your growth hormone is regulated so uh, you have the desire. So basically this counteracts what they're chemically doing to us, exactly, at least to a certain extent. Exactly. So well, let me tell you something. I've taken a lot of supplements and a lot of them are good. Your stuff is no joke, InfoWarsLife.com and your purchase helps support the broadcast. So it's a win-win, we're still running. 15% off, because I produced a new ad and it's not ready yet, so why not just keep running it a few more weeks? 15% off Supermail Vitality. Comparable herb systems that are good use dry. We use wet and concentrated. Comparable systems are double the price and aren't even as strong as ours. There are some other stuff out there similar to this that's just not as strong. I'm here to tell you, because, I mean, Steiner, you know, you know, pointed out, he said, I've taken natural supplements, never had this effect, because he does natural stuff. And, and it, it, it really is the real deal. And I hope people will get it at InfoWarsLife.com and it supports the broadcast, but also the, 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 the fluoride detox, the fluoride shield, and then also the nascent iodine, what it does mentally for people. It just all works together in synergy. Well, the thing is, uh, you know, I was happy to work with you when you called me up because it's, you're giving people, I mean, every single day people know that we're being attacked on every single front. But then a lot of people don't know that there's solutions to all that. So when you come out with these situations of, yes, there's so much fluoride in the water and, yes, we're being poisoned, what can you do about it? Well, these are the solutions, and the good news is... It funds the operation, it funds your operation so you can get more information out there and those individuals can get more information out to their friends and families. So it's a win-win situation. Of course, <laughs> that was Steiner. He takes a little bit more than the recommended does. Um. <laughs> you are watching the best of the Alex Jones Show. Weekdays from 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. Central. Watch live at InfoWars.com forward slash show or become a member of InfoWarsNews.com and help us take resistance to the next level.